Johnny Depp in the movie Dark Shadows. Johnny Depp is an amazing actor. Helena Bonham Carter, even Chloe Grace Moretz, there's Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, I'm going to blank on the name of the guy who played Rorschach in The Watchmen, one of my favorite movies of all time. So the movie Dark Shadows, I was really excited for because it was a great TV series back in the day. It was before my time. I did not watch it, the originals, I'll admit it. They did attempt the reboot of it on TV when I was in high school, or I think just getting out of high school. And I watched that with Ben Cross as Barnabas. And I was really excited about it because it had all those cool elements and it didn't last. It just didn't make it. So when this movie was made and came out, and I, somehow I missed it, clearly because it was not very big. But I saw it a while back and I put it on my list. And I was like, I've got to watch Dark Shadows, Johnny Depp, Lena Bonham Carter. I mean, how can you go wrong? Ava Green. And... I don't know what to say about the movie. It was mediocre. It wasn't terrible. It was worth watching. It was disappointing. And I really don't know what went wrong. There's uh, all the elements. Visually, it's there. Um, acting, like nobody was bad for their role. And no, no, none of the actors did a bad job. Not like good actors that had an off movie or a bad performance. I mean, I can't say that, I mean, was it the direction? The story was lacking a little, but it was sort of the movie that didn't know what it was. It started out, I mean, it was very, I thought it was going to be brilliant when you get the opening and the backstory and Collins Port and it falls off the cliff. Well, she jumps and he jumps and he lives because he's a vampire and it seems like, man, this is going to be cool. And what it becomes is kind of campy and yet it doesn't become campy enough to be really funny and it doesn't get back to being serious enough to be serious it sort of comes together at the end by the big final battle with the bad guy as being campy but you're still left with the sadness that it wasn't as deep as you were hoping it was going to be and so it was thoroughly unsatisfying Best example of this is early on when Barnabas first wakes up and he kills all of these workmen that dug up the coffin. And it's a level of outrageous brutality in some of the ways that it's shot with the way he throws people around because of his power. It's, an, it's almost Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood type of hilarity, right? I mean, when they, the Manson family stumbles into the Ron house and it just, they go berserk on them and... Tarantino is able to capture that quality. You see me laugh. It's still funny. Like, it's horrible, but it's funny. Just something about the way the bodies flail around and the way where it's just sort of shocking and, and satisfying because they're the bad guys. And it just, they don't get there. And so when, when Barnabas wakes up and he sort of does that to all these men, and you're sort of like, damn, like, this, did they really have to kill all these poor innocent guys to drive this home? Because he's going to be the protagonist after this. You knew that if you knew anything about Dark Shadows. Like did, couldn't he have like scared them away and maybe... And then it seems like it's almost funny and yet it's not. And then at the end, you're like, when he makes a crack about being thirsty, you're like, oh, I think that was supposed to be very... And that's really sort of the setup for the whole movie, that it, it's never really campy enough to, to be funny. It's not funny enough to be really just comedy. It's not really dark enough to be... It's just, it never quite gets anywhere, and it's painful in that regard. As I said, it was worth watching, and it's not like it was a, a horrible experience, but there is a certain twinge of pain through it where you're... You're waiting for it to get brilliant, and by the time it's done, you're like, I don't know why it wasn't brilliant. Like, visually, cinematography-wise, is that a word? Cinematographically? You know, the costuming. Now, his appearance was a little over the top, but then you get pretty quick that that was meant to be slightly Adam's family-ish campy. But, but everything is just 
all the recipe is there. We get the werewolf up here. We could have got a little bit more lead in on that. But all the elements were there to make a fabulous Dark Shadows movie. And it's it's okay. And that's kind of sad because I really wish it would have been better. And especially today with all the technology. And there's a lot more now. I think we have more of a culture of dark humor, of things like Tarantino type violence and things like that that we be become part of the artistic culture that it's still a good time to make a Dark Shadows movie or a series, a limited series something and do it really well but this just didn't quite make it and I can't put my finger on exactly why when it's not Johnny Depp it's not Helena Bonham Carter not Michelle Pfeiffer, Ava Green is great even Chloe Grace Moretz is, and, and the butler, like I, I can't put my finger on what went wrong except the story needed work and the direction, the, the whole presentation. Anyway, so that's my review of Dark Shadows. It was worth seeing, but I sure would love to see a really good, amazing version of it someday.